and one day you open the selection list just to find out you got into government medical college after the neat we think it's the end of the studies but that's not the case in the first year of mbbs you have three subjects anatomy physiology and biochemistry anatomy being the hardest of them physiology being the easiest of them and biochemistry is not so hard but since it is so neglected by the students that it becomes hard before the exams so in this video i'm going to talk about anatomy subject i'm going to talk about certain things which are important for you to make the anatomy subject strong so let's start with it So the first way to improve anatomy is to stay focused during dissection. In the first year you will be asked to dissect the human body for better understanding of the anatomy. And dissection is crucial. It is very important because it gives a different kind of exploration of the body structure that textbooks or digital models cannot give. Also it allows students to observe or note the relationship between organs and tissues and the systems with each other. When you dissect you get deeper knowledge about the location, size and the the relation of any organ properly and you must dissect a body as much as you can in the first year itself because you won't get a body to dissect in the second or further years Now the next way to improve anatomy is to use 3D animation while studying. So 3D animation helps us to explore angles and gives us different views from different sides. Now it provides a realistic visualization of how the body could be from inside, making it easier for you to understand the complex and complicated structures. Students can accurately see the movements of bones or see the joints in the body since different different muscles produce different kinds of joint movements each and every movement could be seen very clearly through the 3D animations the blood supply nerve supply of any structures can be studied easily any of you can learn at your own pace you don't have to worry about the time that you have to complete this particular topic within this particular time and that is why 3d animations plays an important role in making you understand the special arrangement of any structure at your pace Going on to the third method and that is studying of bones. So in the demonstration part there is a section of studying the hard parts that is bones. This is of another importance for strengthening your anatomy because every scar and deep, every impression and every tubercle, every groove, elevation and depression on the bone has something related to the body. By bones you study about the articulation of one bone with the other. You study about the movement and the range of one joint. So in a way they are really really important for your anatomy strengthening below the posterior end of the mylohyoid line matlab mylohyoid line ka posterior end ke niche posterior end ke niche apna mylohyoid groove hoga i guess ha ye ye ha left ke niche mylohyoid groove Okay so by seeing this you must have guessed the next way and that is using the youtube to study i guess i don't have to introduce what is youtube to you so let's just focus on the advantages of this the first advantage is that it has a variety of explanation of variety of topics secondly it is free so it is accessible to each and every medical student which is a very good thing because online subscriptions cannot be afforded by everyone so in that case youtube really really plays a great role The third thing is that if I search any topic I will get a lot many videos of different different teachers so suppose I do not get the topic by one teacher I do not understand it I can easily switch on to some other video by some other teacher YouTube gives me this option of choosing the teacher I want to study from If any part of the video was of a help to you then do subscribe to this channel